Okay, so the same thing, right? We're not going to use this force, right? We're going to use this as the main force if it's sliding. It's definitely sliding. So let's draw a picture of this box sliding to the right. Slide into the right. Okay. There's a force of five newtons to the right. So let's draw a picture of this guy. Okay. Um, since it's sliding to the right, the friction is always opposite the direction you're sliding. So the friction force is going to be this way. And it's always this, it's always the kinetic friction. Never use this one. Never, never, never. Okay. Um, so this is going to be positive. This guy will be negative. Notice, okay, notice it's sliding to the right and there's less force to the right than there is to the left. So this guy is definitely decelerating. That's the way I like to look at the force, but I'll show you how to look at the acceleration too. Okay, so I've got uh, 5 newtons minus 6.86 is equal to, and the mass is 5. And then the acceleration is what we want to find. So 5 minus 6.86 is negative 1.86 is 5a and then we divide by 5 so divide by 5 and I get that the acceleration is equal to negative 0 0.372 okay uh, meters per second squared and notice that the velocity is positive right our velocity is positive but our acceleration is negative whenever that's the case you're slowing down you're decelerating Okay. Now, if you don't want to use decelerate and accelerate, you can say slowing down. That works too. Okay. But you have to label it accelerating or decelerating.